Questions 109 to 110 in the ASO Green Paper. Question 109. So the force due to an electric charge is equal to K, some constant, over uh, K, sorry, times Q1, Q2 over R squared, where R is the distance between the two charged particles, and Q1 and Q2 are the respective charges of the particles. So the uh, all the particles in this scenario are metal spheres, and they all have a uh, positive charge. So in this case, um, S is going to be repulsed uh, by both R and T. In this scenario, we're asked to find a situation where there is a net zero electric force on the S metal sphere. And this will occur when the force, repuls repulsive force due to R um, is equal to the repulsive force due to T. So what we're saying is Q, oh, sorry, K times QR, QS on, um, in this case, D1 squared is equal to K, Q, T, Q, S on D2 squared. And you'll notice that you can immediately cancel out a couple of these um, values, leaving us with uh, QR equals to QT. Uh, sorry, QR on D1 squared is equal to QT on D2 squared. So uh, let's just sub in quickly for the uh, charges. So QR is equal to Q, and this is equal to 3Q. <clears throat> so what we get is a D2 is equal, D2Q is equal to, sorry, D2 squared Q is equal to D1 squared 3 Q. So therefore d2 squared is equal to d1 squared times 3. So d2 is equal to d1 times square root 3. So c is the correct answer, 409. So when you touch two small metal spheres together with different charges, what happens is that firstly you add the charges and then you share the remaining leftover charge among the two spheres. So we start with a charge of negative 2q and we touch it firstly to the R sphere. So the R sphere has a charge of um, positive q. So overall we um, add these two charges leaving us with negative q overall. Um, but this is shared between the two q, uh, between the two spheres. So negative q essentially gets split up into negative half q to one sphere and then negative half q to the other. Now this uh, cube, <laughs> now this sphere, sorry, is uh, brought and touched to the s sphere. Now the s sphere has a charge of plus two q. So what we get is therefore a overall charge of 3 on 2q. And again, this charge is split up among the two uh, remaining spheres. So one sphere gets half of this, and the other sphere gets the other half. So we get 3 on 4q to one sphere, and 3 on 4 to the other. And finally, we touch this sphere with the um, 3q sphere, the t sphere. And what this gets us, so 3q is equal to 12 on 4q. So what we get is 15 on 4q. And then again, this is split up among the two cubes, two spheres. So we get 15q on 8 in each sphere. So therefore, the correct answer for question 10 is C.